Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, I'm Brushes and Buddies, and in this video we're going to talk about some of the tips that you can do to improve your watercolor skills. As always, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more art videos, tips and tricks for watercolor, and for just drawing in general, as well as art live streams, which, by the way, will be starting again by the end of May. I am going away for three weeks in Ireland, so I won't be live streaming these three weeks, of course, but I will do a live stream at the very end of May. So don't miss out and subscribe to uh, basically join this and be part of our uh, little art community that we have on this YouTube channel. Now for this video, I just wanna give some really helpful tips for improving your watercolor skill. And we're just gonna dive right into it with tip number one. And that is to buy yourself a block of watercolor paper that is larger than the regular paper size. So for this example, I did use a size of A3. It is much larger and it allows you for a larger surface to basically just experiment with your watercolors. Tip number two is to get out all of your materials onto the table. So you wanna make sure you have everything with you. So for this experiment or this video, I decided to take out my premium watercolors from Shinhan Art as well as my past colors, which is the hybrid of the gouache and the watercolor paint. And because I am a mixed media artist, I also had my Shinhan touch liners out as well as my gel pen. And I believe, yeah, that was it. An assorted uh, kind of amount of watercolor brushes as well. And that was all that I used. The reason why I included this as a tip in this video is because when you're trying to find your own style or just try to get better at a specific medium such as watercolor, what really helped me is to have all of my materials out on the table that I can see them, that I could just pick them up very quickly and combine them together or just use one type of medium, for example, just watercolor or have watercolor and gouache and fine liner together. You just have everything there accessible to you. And honestly, I have to say that the only way you will get better and improve is if you just experiment with the different colors, the different techniques, the different materials together. And that has helped me a lot. So get those things out and uh, just, just have fun with it. Just experiment with whatever you can and uh, yeah. Tip number three is about trying out your paint mixes. So trying little swatches on your paper. This is super helpful just to see if the color is correct before you apply it all over the character. And it's also super helpful as a guide later down the road. You can maybe make some little notes. So notes to yourself saying what kind of color mixes you used, or if it was one basic color, what color was it? So these little color swatches are super helpful when you're trying to get into watercolor in general. Tip number four is to try different techniques. And yes, I do sort of mean to try different watercolor techniques, but I also mean just in general in the way that you paint your characters. So working on a larger sheet of paper is really great for this reason, just because you can literally use this large sheet of paper as sort of a sketchbook and just draw these characters. You can draw whatever you want on this paper and each character you can try to paint in a different style or use a different technique. Um, so for the character that I drew in the upper left hand corner, she had heavy black outline. I drew her with very vibrant watercolors. And the character that I'm painting now, I tried to really soften those watercolors. I didn't really try to use a black outline. I wanted to use maybe a more reddish or pink outline, for example. So this is what, um, yeah, this is basically using a larger sheet of paper will allow you to try different techniques and to experiment with a new style that maybe you've never wanted to try before because you were too scared. In this case, you can definitely go for it and try whatever your hearts desire. And this is what's really fun about um, basically drawing on larger scale than smaller scale. Tip number five and the very last tip is all about allocating time to um, sitting down and painting. Uh, so what I like to do on um, kind of a weekly basis is I sit down and I take out one of these large sheets of paper and I will just fill it up. So I sit down on my computer and I tell myself, okay, I'm going to spend so and so amount of time, maybe an hour or two, and I'm going to fill up the sheet of paper. I'm just going to watercolor. I'm going to play around. I'm going to experiment. I'm going to have 
have fun. I'm going to draw different characters. And what really helps when you do this is to basically have maybe a TV, maybe have Netflix on and watch movies or watch your favorite TV series or YouTube videos and just paint. And this is a really nice time to have by yourself. Um, if you're someone who just likes to enjoy painting, this is really, really fun. And if you're someone who needs to de-stress or has a lot of stress at work or, you know, for school or stuff like that, this is another really fun exercise. So the tip here is to not see it as a chore, not to see it as another thing of work that you need to do, but to see it as just a really fun kind of free type of work where you're just you're just playing around you're just having fun there's no pressure you're just trying to ultimately try to improve your watercolor skill but you're doing so by by just putting paint on on paper and just playing around and having fun and not really caring what the outcome is um, because the end goal is to really just try new techniques and try to find your style So that's pretty much all I have to say regarding these tips. Of course, there's a lot more which I will be covering in the upcoming months with more video watercolor tutorials. If you guys have any more tips and tricks, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to read them and see what you guys do and what works for you. On another note, as mentioned multiple times, uh, I am going to be in Ireland for the next two to three weeks. And um, so I'm going to be releasing a couple pre-recorded videos. This is one of them and I'll have another one next weekend. And hopefully my plan is um, that I will be releasing some vlog type of sketchbook tours while I'm there as well. I am going to go get myself a wonderful sketchbook today at the art store and I'm planning on sketching and drawing what I see in Ireland and my experiences and I'll be doing some sketchbook tours and also yeah like kind of a vlog half sketchbook tour type of video I'm not so sure how I'll do it yet but that's the plan and I'm hoping to be able to release these guys on either Thursday or Sunday so stay tuned for that I'm so excited to go uh, it's gonna be really really fun and I'm excited to see what I will be seeing there I really don't know what to expect apart from castles green and sheep and wonderful people of course wonderful food um, but this is like a life life dream of mine to go there and yeah we're leaving tomorrow morning at uh 6 a.m so we actually have to be at the airport at 4 a.m uh so this is this is a, my start our start to a really great adventure uh, so stay tuned for that and as always i hope you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up it does support me and i'm very grateful don't forget to subscribe for more art videos and also just yeah stay tuned for my upcoming little videos as always i want to wish you guys a wonderful day don't ever give up keep drawing and keep being awesome bye everyone